<laughs> welcome. Hi, welcome. Or, or welcome back. Indeed. We are a close-knit family. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a knit cast. Oh, and today uh, is... is December 2nd, 2018. This is episode 34 of and our knit cast. Yeah. And we are coming to you from... North Okanagan, <laughs> Armstrong. Armstrong, in the North Okanagan region of British Columbia, <laughs> Canada. Do you ever feel like we should just start all over? <laughs> Do you want to? Oh my gosh, no. Nah. Okay, so yeah, we talk about knitting and we're following Mike's ongoing adventures as a newer yes. knitter. Yes. and. You're doing really well. I am doing really well, thank you. And my on our ongoing yarn and, and knitting addiction. Mm-hmm. And a few other things are getting thrown in there now too. Yep. And Jude thought that she would join us. And Jude yeah, Jude's been having a day today. There's yeah. been lots of woe is me coming from Jude. Yep. So we just thought we'd shut her up and pick her up, and then you caught me with her anyway. Yep. <laughs> okay. So. The sky is above Armstrong. The sky is above Armstrong. It keeps trying to snow. It's really trying. There's teeny oh. tiny little flakes Bye, trying Jude. to fall, but. The weather keeps saying there's going to be flurries, or at least a small chance of flurries, and there never is. No, we haven't really even had a hard freeze no. this year. No. <clears throat> Which we've usually had a hard freeze by now. That's what I forgot. I forgot to bring water. That's what I forgot, too. I was just sitting here saying, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah. Now we know what it me, is. Do you want me to go get us water? No, that's okay. Okay. It's all good. Okay. It's all good. Yeah. All right. So... Just a reminder about <laughs> nice. Just a reminder about um, alongs that we that are going on. So our sock along slash donation along. Mm -hmm. There's only a few more weeks. Yep. It runs until um, Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and it's for any socks, adult socks that you knit. Any mm -hmm. doesn't matter what you're doing with them. Yep. Um, or anything else that you knit that you happen to donate. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, there's a, a thread for that in Ravelry. Yes. Uh, called Sock Along, Donation Along, something yep. like that. I'm terrible. And so in Ravelry, you find us as a close knit family. No, close knit family. Close knit not, family. Not a. Close-knit family. Close -knit family. Under groups. Yeah. Um, and so there's only a couple of weeks. So if you December knit, 25th. If you've knit socks, like since I think it was around... July. July. Call it July 15th. Yeah. Um, if you've knit socks since July 15th, get them in there. Yeah. Um, and get in on, um, on uh, the prize for that. Yeah. Woohoo. 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 Now, we will be announcing the winner to our random giveaway, yes. uh, which was Describe Your Current Project, and mm -hmm. we'll be announcing the winner later. Yes. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to talk about? Mm, I know. So this week, there I was, scrolling Instagram, because sometimes that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And a picture went by or came up of a sweater and I actually gasped. Oh. Like I went, oh! and then I said, that's beautiful. And then there was no one else in the room and yeah. And I said, isn't it Jude? Pet, pet, pet. Yeah. Um, and I, so I just, I wanted to mention it because it is a beautiful sweater. Um, it was on the page of... Knitted Wishes. Um, she's Monica Anna. And it is a picture of her tree light pullover by Jennifer Steingass. The tree light pullover. And so that was Knitted Wishes. It's just a beautiful sweater. It's a colorwork yoke. And um, anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, so, so there was that. Okay. There was that. Now, Mike. Hi. You probably can't read that. So what am I, want, I reading? I want you to. I want you to to say. Just don't look at it. Okay. Don't plan it. Okay. Not looking. Not looking. This was fun. Sorry. This is. I heard. Well, anyway. Not looking. Just a sec. Okay. So. You want me to say? Say. Snug sock yarn. Oh, oh you... snug snug sock yarn. <laughs> he tried to say that earlier and it came out really, really funny. So that what was did I say? a complete waste of time. Snug snock yarn? Snug snock yarn. It's yeah. not easy to say. Snug, snug sock, sock yarn. yarn. If you're not like if if you're just saying it without trying to be right. Yeah. Try that ten times fast. Snug sock yarn, snug sock yarn, snug sock yarn, snug zing dick. Yeah, there it goes. Anyway, so that was just a little a little thing that was, you know, for fun. The other mm. thing I wanted to mention, poor Mike, am I it's another Sue's talking too much. Damn it. <laughs> so the thing right now with podcasters. In our case, Nick Casters. It's Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas. So doing these short little things every day. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try. We're trying. We're going to try. Yeah. We may fail miserably. <laughs> uh, they'll be really short. Yeah. So... That might happen. I might try to make some contributions, but I think it's mostly going to be you. It'll mostly be me. I mostly just work these <laughs> yeah, days. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So watch for that. It, oh, that's the other thing I forgot. So can you, you, well, talk amongst yourselves or pause so I can go get the other thing that I forgot. Okay. We're back. Woo! And I have a magic wand. Yes. So. <laughs> that was, <laughs> so that was our, our really, our really careful transit. And water. And we have water. Water. All these things happen. Mm -hmm. And in the blink of an eye. Yes. Okay. Magic. So this came up because I was putting around things, um, starting to do some Christmas decorating. Yes, I'm not one who rushes into it. No. And I may have mentioned before that I used to work as a florist. And at Christmas time, we would get in cotton to um, to deck to to make flower arrangements with. Mm -hmm. And so this just remind it was that time of year, and this just reminded me of that. And when I first saw this, being you know where we live in Canada or whatever, I had never seen cotton in its plant natural form and I just thought hey it, that might be so I might not be alone on that oh. on having never seen ooh, an actual cotton this is what the cotton plant flower looks like. so there you go this is natural for real cotton mm -hmm. so that's the fiber that gets you know all spun up and turned into yarn and things for us. It's very, it's very soft. It is very soft. And yeah, it does, it doesn't, like it doesn't pull apart really easily. Yeah, and th that's interesting mm -hmm. actually. Let's look at, so the fibers, yeah, the fibers are really quite short. I don't know if you can see it's trying to focus on us. Oh, is it? That's right. That's where you do this, right? And now it's focusing on your hand. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, anyway, the fibers are really very, very short. They're I'm gonna say, what, like an inch? Something like that. Yeah. 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 Like, like the fibers inch. are about an inch long, and. I've never pulled apart my cotton before. But anyway, so that was just a little sort of trivia-ish. Oh, look, I'm making cotton thread. Oh, hey. Woo. Um, that was just kind of a trivia-ish thing. It's not very strong cotton thread. Um, and uh, yeah, something I just have kicking around the house. It's, I keep it in a vase. It's sort of decorative. Yep. So 
So yeah, that was that that was just my little thing for today is if you've never seen cotton before, that's that's what cotton that's looks what like. cotton looks like. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Alrighty. So I guess we're on to finished objects. <sighs> Last week I was telling you about my weaving disaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it continues to be a weaving disaster. Or it continued to be, but I kind of finished it because I just really wanted to see what it would look like. Mm -hmm. So my weaving disaster is not so disastrous. Um, well, the edges are terrible, and ah, it continued. Ah. It continued to break and cause me great deals of grief and stuff, and and it's very uneven and so. But it is. It's very soft. So this is a hundred percent alpaca for those of you who weren't with us last week. This is a yarn that's 100% alpaca. I bought it once upon a time because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's so soft. It is it? very soft. So I don't know. I have like four or five skeins of this mm -hmm. stuff. And I just, I had to have it. And then I started knitting with it. And as you can tell from this, it is self, it is, it's got a stripe to it. I didn't want something striped. For what I was trying to knit. Let's just put it back there. Yes. So then I've tried a few different time times to find a project to do with this. And then I was watching um uh, oh who's he what's it from Sweet Georgia. I've lost her name. It's gone. Anyway, I was watching her her um her Friday blogs and um, she's been working on this mohair blanket and I was like this would work in the same way that she's been setting up this mohair blanket so that's what I set this up to do because I wanted this kind of plaid kind of look um, except this you just you can't weave with this as your warp thread the the alpaca because it just snaps breaks when you're um, beating beating it it yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> when you're beating it it um, gets all fuzzed up and all and breaks and so it was that was just a, a nasty disaster but. I still am calling it a faux because I did finish it. Yeah. <laughs> I yep. took it off the loom, so that's a faux. Yeah. Woohoo! All right. And then whips. Whips. I'm going to move right back, right into my next whip. Okay. And then, because yep. I got, you know, I always have a number of them. Yep. I just have the one. So it seems to be Sue's episode again. So I then tried it again. Mm -hmm. So I put some um, more heavy duty yarn onto the loom for the warp. This gray, I think, I don't know what it is. It's a cone. I think I got it like Value Village or something. But it feels like a woolly wool. It's very sticky. So that's a pretty good one. And the black is, um, uh, it's a red heart yarn. I don't know what the content of it is. Yeah, just looking at this, you're, uh, what you have on your end here, you're getting a lot more consistency. Well, yeah. Your... So this Whoa. is yeah. way better than what I had before. And while I'm not, you know, getting the whole look from the yarn that I was after, all the bits are falling off my loom. Um, my whole loom's falling apart. Woohoo! This is the um, Ashford Samplet Loom, and I know it comes in different widths, and I'm 99% sure this is the smallest one. Where'd that other thing go? So, there's like the side-by-side -side comparison of the two, the two pieces of, um, of weaving, and yeah. So definitely, it's working better using a, a stronger yarn. It's not as soft, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's still pretty. It's pretty good. soft, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I think that I this is this is what I'm gonna do to use up this alpaca yarn that I just can't find a purpose in life for. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of things like that. Okay. So that's that's that. Yeah. What have you got for a whip? I have my socks still. Well, not my socks, but the socks I'm going to give away for Christmas. And uh, so I've now completed the gusset on both of them. And I'm not holding them up very usefully, but uh, yeah, the gusset is done on this one. And on this one, I am beginning the heel turn with the contrast color uh, pink there and some short rows. Uh, yeah, and uh, it was kind of funny because mom wrote the pattern down and last time I did this, I remember mom looked at it and said, you know, oh, there, excuse me while I grab some yarn here, you know, there's a better way for me to say when to stop doing your short row increases. And, you know, it was just so dead simple and so I was like, hey mom, what was that way? No idea. <laughs> No idea. So, so I turned around and I said, okay, so this is the ultimate goal. You want to have this 32 stitches. Between your gusset markers. Between your gusset markers. But mom, I already had 32 stitches between my gusset markers. I was like, oh my god. And then I was like, okay, so what are you doing? You're increasing stitches. It, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I just do it and it works. But eventually you figured out I now figured you out. want 42 you stitches. 42 stitches between your gusset markers. Gusset markers. And yeah, so that's, and now we've actually written that down. And we wrote that down. <laughs> so don't forget it. I had somebody ask me today on Instagram, you know, oh, because I comment, she had said that she liked doing the toe up, heel flap, and gusset socks. Yeah. And, and she's using the sockmaticians um, pattern okay. for that, and I said, "Yeah, th that's my favorite way to do socks too, and I like the fit better." Yeah. And she said, "Oh, do you have a pattern for that?" And I was like, "Nope." <laughs> 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 I kind of do, but nope. Uh -huh. Um. So yeah, that's my whip. Yeah, and so I'm getting super warm, and but before I take this off, I think I've showed this before, but this is my butterfly papillon shawl. that I knit mm -hmm. and it's very nice it looks like really complicated color work but it's but, not it's nope. just the way the yarn pulled yep and um, so there's a black malabrigo yarn and the other yarn this one is painted desert mm -hmm. and um, yeah it's a, I just I love this pattern it's just so pretty yeah, it's, it's so stunning so yeah the pattern is done as a row of the black a row of the of color the yarn row of and black, then you row just stop and black. do short rows along the way and that's yeah. how you get those neat pools poolings of color so anyway that i was getting warm so now oh yay aren't i anyway that's how that goes so my uh, another whip so this is one i started and i'm gonna pull it out because i've changed my mind oh I talked about <laughs> I talked about this before that I had a friend who really likes red and I wanted to make her um, just sort of a, a throw thing but something that's really light so I just kind of made up this little very loosely knit um, thing I don't like it so it's, I'm gonna start yeah, again it's a little bit muddy yeah so this is a um, this is a mohair yarn but it's a it's it's like a it's a fingering weight as opposed to a lace white mohair so it's a little bit of a thicker yeah. and it is diamond luxury pure super kid mohair super kid I think that's referring to like a goat I know, but still, <laughs> super kid. Super kid. Super kid. Oh, super yeah. kid. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, nails. Nails. New nails. New old, nails. All sparkly. Sparkle. So I guess if I hold them like that, maybe that's better. So those are my, yeah, those are my 
current nails. My other one, my last ones were just a mess. But and again, for anyone who's new, I am a nail tech. So this is what I do for a living. Ha <laughs> ha! To pay for my yarn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's all about the yarn. Yep. All right, so I also worked on, very briefly, my Dizdoro Ranchland, my Ranchland shawl. Yes. So there's my marker, the little green marker that tells you where I was. So I just got another, maybe two more pattern repeats. It's just because you increase one every six rows. Oh. Um, and... Again, my hands started to hurt, and my and so I. Um, are you looking for the increase? No, I'm just looking. It uh, just looked like something happened here, so it's just kind of some right there. Right there, that just I think that's just a funky. Just a tight one. one some, tight something stitch. did happen there. Nice. Don't know what happened there, but it's not supposed to be like that. Um. So anyway, yes, my Ranchland shawl. There it is. Um, yeah. It started hurting. I think it's the size of the needles because it's a bigger. Yeah. And and. S speaking of things hurting when you're knitting, yeah, I was knitting um, at my one job where I can actually knit because I have two jobs and one of them I can it's actually knit at. Paid to knit. Uh, sort of. Basically. Anyway. And um and I yeah I was knitting on these socks and I was like huh. My index finger is starting to hurt. Maybe I should put that down for a bit. And then it was sore for the rest of the day. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So. You didn't slam it in a door or anything? No. No. No, it was, okay. I was just knitting. And it was cool. like, oh, my index finger's sore. Excellent. And so, yeah, I'm feel, feeling the pain. Yeah, yeah, no, I had my my brace. And that's the other reason why I went back to, to weaving last night why I set up the loom. Oh, because your, your carpet so, tunnel? Or was... Yeah, I did that at supper time last night. Set up the loom um, because, yeah, I was just, I was really hurting and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to knit. Mm. Like, why can't I just sit? But I can't. No, I can't um, either. Okay, I did a little bit more on my socks. Yes. So again, this is um, the Mud Punch self-striping yarn with a Drop stable. Um, you just talked about your socks, right? Yes. You didn't do this. I didn't do this. So with my drop stable contrast color in brown, <laughs> and um, I'm doing the blueberry waffle pattern on the top, and so this is the toe, and I'm working up towards the heel, and again. So where's so, your knitting? I want your knitting. My knitting is down here. So, uh, yeah, we um, realize that we haven't done a, you know, here's Drops Fable for but, you. But just a second. I don't know. I must have been zoned out there for a second and not thinking. But I... look at these stitches, people. Oh. Can you see? Look at how nice those stitches are. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Such nice stitches. But uh, yeah, the yarn is uh, is drops fable, um, and uh, we realized we hadn't really talked about drops fable as um, as you know people in the yarn community yet. So yeah, drops uh, drops fable is made by Drops Design, uh, which is found at garnstudio.com. G A R N studio.com. Uh, According to them, they have been had uh, 30 years in the knitting and crochet community, and they have one of the most extensive collections of free patterns on the web. Uh, translated into 17 languages, they currently count that they have 236 catalogs and 8,609 patterns. They are based in Northern Europe. And their yarn, uh, the, the yarn that they carry is mainly made of wool, cotton, alpaca, linen, mohair, and silk. So there you go. Yeah. A little introduce, introduction to drops. to drops for you because that's the thing that we try to do. We try to yep. tell you. And, yeah, and I, fi I finally, I, by looking up this, I was like, oh, there's the colorways I'm using. I actually don't know what the names they are. So uh, the col this colorway, the sort of pink, blue, green red one is called Picnic in Drops Fable. That was Picnic. 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 And the other one uh, is... Which uh, isn't here. Which isn't here, but it was um, it was sort of a red 
brown, orange, yellow type. It's the, yeah, the, the socks I did. If you look back a couple episodes, you'll see it again. But it was called Borgogni. <laughs> Borgogni. Um, which in, is the word, that word is um, the French region of Burgundy. Borgogni. Bor, bor, yeah. Bor, bor, Borgogne. 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 Anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, and yeah, and then just the contrast color for those was just dark red, and this one is pink. Yeah. Yep. So, there we go. And those were, yeah, those were all Drops yarns, right? Yeah, all of them are Drops Fable yarns. There, I thought he was using Regia. Uh -uh. Alright, and so, on to my ongoing balance. So yes. first, here is a picture of the back of balance on the blocking mats. Yes. I was hoping it would be dry, but it's not. So that was the picture of that. Mm -hmm. And then now I've got my two, whoops, stuck together with, oh, this is how I lost this last oh, time. Oh yeah. Okay, put that away. Okay, and then I've got my two fronts mm -hmm. moving right along. So where that little green marker is, that's where I was last time. Oh, wow. Got a lot of progress on um, that. So, yeah, I've done the waist shaping part there. Coming back out again. I'm almost back to full width. And then... Um, and then I'll be knitting up to the armholes and separating for the armhole. Ar yeah. Armholes. Yes. Yes. So, um, yeah, that's my, and I'm, so, and then after this, so let's see where, where we're at here. Oh, I am determined. I said I wasn't going to start another new project until I get this one finished. It's my, it's my focus right now. Except that. Oh no. Well, and then I then I started the weaving. Right? Yeah. Like I'm like, oh, that doesn't count. It's no. weaving. No, of course not. So here is the sweater, and of course it's gonna look exactly like that when I wear it. And um, so I am. Whoops. Here we go. So I'm in this region here. And so once I finish this front piece, then. I will be knitting these little cap sleeves, which I'm, oh, yeah. I'm thinking won't take very long. Doesn't look like it, no. Especially at the rate you're going already. And then I will be doing the button band and the neckline. So, hopefully, it shouldn't, I can't see this being more than two weeks. I hope. Should be less, uh, maybe even next week. We'll see what happens. But, um, and then once I'm finished that, I'm going to take the advice that I got and see if maybe by adding in an extra like panel here, I might actually be able to wear it. But we'll see. I'm not counting on that. Who we'll knows? See. Who knows? Anything is possible. We'll find out. This is my bag by Two Sticks and You. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice bag. It has a nice... These nice metal openings yep. keep wire. it keep it nice and open. Yeah. When I'm working out of it. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess that was the end of whips, right? I guess so. Socks blocking. Yeah. Hand hurts. Okay. Hi. Hi. What do you bring to the table? I'm cheating this week. <laughs> cheater, cheater. Because I've technically already mentioned this game before in reference to another game, and that'll make sense in just a second, but I feel like, you know, with this game being the second highest rated game of all time on BoardGameGeek.com, it deserves its own episode, it is Pandemic Legacy Season 1. So I've talked about Pandemic before, Pandemic being the uh, cooperative game where you're all playing as operators, field operators for the Center for Disease Control, uh, who have to find the cure for 
four diseases that are spread out around the world. And it gives me anxiety. And it gives her anxiety. <laughs> so Pandemic Legacy and um, brings in what we well, what we call the legacy mechanic with it. In that, certain decisions and certain events in the game will care have effects that carry over to your future games. So Pandemic Legacy is played over the course of a campaign that takes uh, over one in-game year. And you either play one game or two games every month, depending on how well you do. And, um, yeah, and as the game goes on, twists and turns happen, and there's a bit of a story. But when it starts out, you're just playing, you're just playing Pandemic. But immediately in the first game, things start going haywire. And they and they change, and it's it. You have characters that are growing with their own personalities and relationships to the other characters in the game, and they're also getting certain effects put on them by what hap by the events that happen in the game. And it's I'm I'm currently playing through this campaign. <laughs> A new meaning to events from around, around the, the world. world. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm currently playing through this with uh, with a couple of my friends. We um, we're still very early in the campaign, uh, but it is heck of fun. So fun. I love it. It's definitely deserving of its second place position on Board Game Geek's Top 100. Uh, it is for ages 13 plus, between two and four players, and each game. Remembering that you're going to play between 12 and 24 of these, not necessarily one after the other. Uh, each game takes about 60 minutes. And I I love this. It's so good. Pandemic, even though it gives me anxiety, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have panic attacks. Yeah. Oh, um, it's a great game. It's very good. I, and I think the fact that, it, okay, I'm susceptible to anxiety and panic mm -hmm. attacks. So, but, so that just tells you, like, you... you, you really get into yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you know, oh, don't, don't flip Chicago, don't flip Chica Chicago, Chicago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so pandemic, um, also, yeah, there might be some confusion you might see, because you might see, I have a red box, there's also a blue box, they're exactly the same, but they both exist in case you have, like, two play groups and you want to keep track of which board is with which group. Yeah. Okay. And there's also season two, which I haven't played yet. Do you own it? No. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> We're going to need, like, another room for all your games. Eventually. Oh, my goodness. Oh, did you respond to the game night for the... Uh, I have... Working. I do know if I'm working now, and oh. I am working. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. Yeah. And we'll be bringing in the new year with another game night. Yeah. And pajama party. I forgot to talk to Melina about that. Oh, do you? Well, we, we still have to talk to Melina about that. Oh, oh, oh right. Yeah. I totally forgot. Oh. Okay, we're going to, yeah. Anyway, that's <laughs> something we'll, completely we'll, we'll different. We'll maybe talk about that later. All right. So, events from around the world. And not disease control. No, no, no disease control. <laughs> um, again, I, I, I really, I went looking for good events coming up, and um, I wish I could read German. I might yeah. have to get my. Oh no, I don't know where my friend who speaks German is anymore. Oh. Anyway, because um, there's lots of stuff going on in German, and I might have to get out my translator and try and find out what that is, because apparently Germany is the place to be if you're into knitting. Okay. Just saying. All right. But just put another plug in there for the Creekside Fiber Fest, which will be happening on January 12th in Airdrie. Alberta. Yes. Not Lacombe. No. no. All right. And not whatever else it was that I called it. I can't remember. Airdrie. Airdrie, Alberta. <sighs> okay. And, okay, I can't help it because every time I look at, I don't know why it's so obvious today. 
in the screen. Mm -hmm. But, and maybe it's just our screen. But I don't know if any of you have ever noticed the scars that Mike has on his forehead. It might look like bad skin, but it's not. No. It's scars. Yeah. Because Mike had a pretty bad car accident three years ago. 2016. January 2016. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it could have been a whole hell of a lot worse, but he mostly ended up with, um, what, glass rash? Yeah. And, and, and then a really bad cut sort of goes right across up. here. Yeah, it start, yeah, it goes it starts here and it goes up and that's about where I lose it. Yeah. Anyway, so I don't know why, but I'm looking in the screen and it's all I can see today. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but anyway. So that was uh, we're very thankful that as bad as that car accident was, it was a single vehicle accident. Yep. No one else was involved, so no one else was hurt, which is yep. another Good thing, yeah. and, and we're all here living to tell the tale. Mm -hmm. Yay! All right, it is time! <gasps> uh, on that note... <laughs> it is time to announce the winner! Of our random giveaway. Of the random giveaway. Yeah! Describe your current project. Mm-hmm. You want to know what we were looking for? We were looking for the highest word count. So, this was actually pretty interesting. We had yeah. we had five five entries. Mhm. Mm five. 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 Five entries. And two of the entries had exactly 37 words. Mhm. Mm two other entries had exactly had exactly 85 words. And one entry had 123 words. And that was Torque D59. Mm -hmm. D. D. Yay. You're a winner. Woohoo! Woohoo! What did we say we were giving you? We're, it's stitch markers. Stitch markers, right. So, D. Email me, please. CNFpodcast at gmail.com. With your address and mailing information. Yes, please, you get in contact with us, please. Because you are the wiener. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay! So, congratulations. congratulations. But I thought that was really funny that there'd be like two with. Three, or what? Two pairs with exactly yeah. the same number of uh, stitch count. Thirty-seven eighty-five. Yeah. Stitch count. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Word count. <laughs> Word count. Word count. <laughs> okay, people. I meant word count. Yes. Um. I wonder if there's a like a um. Like a statistic about. Like. I don't know, sentence, sentence lengths or things that... Because that's a pretty small sampling. Yeah. To have that come up with. So anyway, yeah, good times. Yes, good why times. did I just do that? I don't know. <sighs> um, so yeah, so thank you so much for your amazing support. The thank comments you. that we get saying that you... That you like us and yeah. you enjoy watching us and our kind of silly, rough, completely. <laughs> anyway, and as much, I mean, Mike and I have always said we're just doing this for us for yeah. fun. And the fact that you enjoy it too makes it um, even more special. Mm -hmm. But let's face it. You can't help but kind of want to have more subscribers. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Not, it's not going to make or break whether or not we keep going. But, nope. But... It's kind of, yeah, it would be, it's just fun. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a, here's a minute. If you do enjoy watching us and, and that, here's a little, um, we're asking you if you could please take a minute and share a link to your favorite episode that we've done um, on Instagram. Tag us, close, and we are a close-knit family knit cast. That's our 
at thing, close knit family knit cast, and tag a couple of friends who may not have had a chance to watch us yet who you think might might like to. Um, and we'll just see if we can get a little bit more going on <laughs> with that. Because um, it, it's nice to, um, yeah, it's nice to have more friends. Yeah. Our, I love the interaction. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so join us on Ravelry. Yes. Um, get in there with the introduce yourself. Show us what you're working on. Mm -hmm. Love that kind of stuff. Love seeing what everybody's working on. Um, yeah. And then what do you you say? Hmm? Oh, uh, please remember to like, comment, and oh. subscribe. Yeah, more likes and comments will also potentially yep. help us to get more. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram, Close Knit Family Knitcast, join our Ravelry group, Close Knit Family, and... That's about it. That's about it. So, so keep, keep your, your knitting close, close and, and your, your family closer. closer. Bye. Bye.